He's one of England's most capped international players. Seaman is the man here. He's one of the world's most decorated goalkeepers. And it was somehow kept out by Seaman. That is a fantastic save. This is Seaman Says with David Seaman. And Seaman, what a magnificent save. Here. Breathtaking. Like never before. Hello and welcome to Seaman Says. And there's been a lot going on at the weekend, Lindsay, but where are we going to start? Top or bottom? Or do I get to choose? <laughs> oh, you can choose. Top. <laughs> that means that we'll be starting at the top. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're coming off the back of a, a fantastic performance from Arsenal. Um, you know, especially in a game where a lot of people thought that they wouldn't come through this test um, of Newcastle. But um, boy, did they. Um yeah, I was I was really pleased. I, I, if I'm honest, I was a little bit worried before it because you know, I weren't too sure which way it was going to go. And as I, as I said in, in our predictions, I said one one, you know, so I weren't that confident. But to get the two nil win was just it was brilliant. And obviously, Aaron had a fantastic game as well. But so too did Nick. You know, we'll chat about that later with the mm. goalies because all three of England's goalies have had a great weekend. You know, well apart from Nick. <laughs> <laughs> it keeps us all excited as well for those of us that don't have a horse in the race it just makes the end of the season a bit more interesting I think if Newcastle had beaten Arsenal we would just be saying all right that's it yeah. but at least you're breathing down Man City's necks a little bit now they they know that if they if they slip up you're there um Erdegaard his form he's just turned it around yeah. so he seemed to go missing for a few games um for that period when you when you started to go and get those draws but he seems to be back to his best and I think the fact that other players now are seeing him lead that and set that example even though I think Saka and Martinelli aren't quite where they were I think yeah. that maybe they can they can get back to that because he's setting the standard. Yeah, when I, when I look at the back now, you know, the, the team's really strong. Kiwa's coming for holding um, and he's doing a fantastic job. Um, when I first saw him, I was like, whoa, he looks he looks as nervous as what, as what Rob does sometimes. But, um, you know, it's, um, yeah, he's coming and done really well. But, um, yeah, going forward, we still look really strong. You know, we've got a full strength team now, obviously, apart from Saliba. Um and like you say, with with um, Martinelli on the wing, Saka, you know, even even Jesus, I know he's not scoring, but he's still doing like loads and loads of work for the team. But um, yeah, it's just mm. been it's it, it's been brilliant to watch. Um, like you say, you know, we we need to keep going because you never know. You know, Man, Man City uh, have got a few more well big big games to sort out first before they. Um, before they get, you know, like back on the horse with the Premier League. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll, we will see, you know, hopefully they're going to have a little hiccup. But if I'm honest, it, it doesn't look like it, does it? It doesn't, but it's the sort of reaction that you wanted from Arsenal, wasn't it? I think if you'd have gone out with a whimper or if you'd started to fade away and then it was done with a game or two to go, then it, it would have really not given credit to the sort of season that you've had. Yeah. Um, but I think again to show that you can respond. I think I think Mikel Arteta will be looking at this team and thinking, well, look, if we finish top two, we get Champions League, we've made progress, and more than anything, I've learned about the character that I've got in this side because we've had moments where yeah. we've been tested and we could have ebbed away, but we've actually returned, um, and and that was huge. That was that was a massive game against Newcastle because I think going forward they are going to be a team that will be trying to to try and topple where Arsenal finish. You know, they're, yeah. they're going to recruit well. Um, there could be a bit of a, a, a rivalry emerging there. I know that Newcastle, you've had some key results in the past, David. And I also saw, wasn't it um, on Sunday, 21 years since you won the title at Man United, which told me that the season used to finish a lot earlier. That's what Damn it told it. me. I wish I'd have known that. I'd have had a right celebration. <laughs> 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 and there's certain Miss Callum will have got a, a little message as well. But anyway, I forgot about I've that. Phone off. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that West Ham gave night. him the message, David. Don't worry. Yeah, no, that, that was a really good night. <laughs> but um, yeah, you know, like like you said, Olinzi, the, the, the squad is is getting better, and it's a really young squad. That's the most exciting thing about it. 
that all these young players now are gaining experience. You know, and like the, the pressure that was on when we went to City, you could see that there was quite a gap. You know, City played without nerves. You know, they might have been nervous, but they didn't look like, because they've been there before, they've played in these big games. Whereas we had, and, and, and I thought that we could, you could see that a little bit, you know, where they were a little bit nervous mm-hmm. and didn't quite play their game. You know, so that's that's the good thing about this this whole campaign that all these young players now are are experiencing playing under pressure, and I mean big pressure. You know, like us going to Man United to win the league that was massive. You know, because they were the only ones. You that mean could... us, as in Arsenal, not Seaman says, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, we might have got a one-one draw. <laughs> <laughs> With, with your penalty taking antics, I think you would. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I'd stay in goal though. I'll let you lot sort out the, mid- the midfield defence and attack. <laughs> mm. Take Man United on in the four side. No, we've got five side. We'll have Matt playing as well. <laughs> yeah, I'm going yeah. for their ankles. Bring up. We can yeah. call on some other people. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah but the yeah they they uh, the experience that they gain that they gain this season is going to be brilliant for next season. Um, you know, so that's why I'm, I'm looking forward to that, you know, and it's it's still not over, you know. It's still technically not over. So let's see. Let's see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> when you say it's not over, are you saying that with an Arsenal hat on or are you saying that with a Leeds hat on? <laughs> um, oh, God. I know. Um, both. But, yeah, I wish it – well, no, I don't wish it was over now because, like, the weekend's been – it was brilliant after watching Arsenal and then it was just a massive downer after that. You know, like teams winning that I never thought would get points. Um, obviously, Leeds getting beat by City. All right, 2-1 was, you know, I just thought City took their foot off the gas. Um, yeah. You know, and everybody it was, was respectable. It, yeah, it was going to be more goals, but it, mm. yeah, like you say, it was respectable, but it was still a loss. And then Everton go and win at Brighton. And then, I mean, Forrest beat your lot you know it was just I know we'll get on to that (laughs) yeah Mm. and it was you know and it made it it put like a little well quite a big downer if I'm honest and then I'm looking at the games that all the teams below us below have got got left so you've you've got what Fulham Brighton and Liverpool as in Southampton yeah 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 that's probably well yeah not many points Leeds have got Newcastle at home, West Ham <laughs> away, Tottenham at, at home. I oh, know. Yeah, but like, look at Leeds and what they've got left. I you know. know. That, that doesn't yeah. look like there's going to be many points in that. You know, then then Leicester, Liverpool, Newcastle, West Ham, Everton, Man City. You know, I can see Everton getting points. Um, I, if you yeah, were to go into into that weekend or into that Sunday and say to, to Southampton and to Leicester, all right, boys, you're going to score three goals today. You probably go, all oh, right, then we're going to take something from this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'm in not. the end, I mean, was mm. there something in the weather? There was three games yesterday and there's 21 goals. Yeah. Well, it was raining all weekend, mm. weren't it? So I reckon that that, that ball must have been like a bar of <laughs> no, salt for the goal. Not all weekend. <laughs> no, was no, no, not? David. <laughs> Sun- Sunday. Was it Sunday that was lovely? It's- yeah, Sunday, Sunday was, was lovely. Actually. Oh, was it? All oh, right then. I'll give him a, a benefit of the doubt then. <laughs> no, it's, no excuse. <laughs> but yeah, the, the king's coronation. It was raining, and then it was oh, raining again on Bank yeah. Holiday. And I watched um, it all as well. I oh, love that sort yeah. of thing. <laughs> I was at the Did concert. You? Oh yeah, you were, weren't you? Were yeah, you? Yeah. But we'll talk about that later. I'll send you pictures later. <laughs> all right then. <laughs> okay. Just go back to the Arsenal Newcastle game. If you're Gareth Southgate, I want to go back to the keepers here. He was there. He was in attendance. You've got two English keepers. Both had a pretty outstanding game. Where's your head at with, as an England manager? Who, who did one of them pip it more than the other? Um, I would say that Aaron made better saves than Nick did. Um, A lot of Nick's saves were around him. Um, there was one with his okay. with his forearm um, and with his feet. They were they were great saves, you know. There's no doubt about it. Mm. Aaron's Aaron's saves were a little bit different. He had one from a header that was just pure reaction, and then but not just pure reaction. It was getting a really good strong hand behind the ball as well. 
Um, but then, you know, if, if you're watching that, you know, or if, if Marge is watching it, the England goalkeeping coach, he's thinking, <laughs> wow, these two are re- really on form. And then Pete Fury goes and does a display like what he did. You know, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so you're like you you're like proper rubbing your hands together, aren't you? You're like, wow, the three English goalies have had a really good weekend, you know, form wise, making saves, mm-hmm. showing confidence. Um, yeah, but for me, with his performance, you know, in in uh, Newcastle Arsenal, Aaron, Aaron just tipped Nick, but then I think Jordan <laughs> beat both of them <laughs> with, with wow. his performance. You know, when you see. The quality of his saves, you know, he had a couple of, of like really good save, one onto the post, one onto the bar, which we will talk about later in uh, save of the week. But um, <laughs> yeah, you know, they were. It was a really good weekend for England's goalkeepers because they were bang on form at, at big times as well. You know, like this is this is where it gets like you know Newcastle Arsenal going for the league, massive game. You know, both goalies proved that they can step up, and then Everton going away to. Brighton. Brighton. That's a big game. And where you know, did that come of, from? I know. Now, what are they on? You know, I know it was down south and it was raining, but mm. come on. <laughs> 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 they, you can't say that they were on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, they, yeah. they definitely still have a lot to play for. I mean, European football... A very yeah. real possibility with Brighton's games in hand that they could even get Champions League prior to that result. And now you're thinking, oh, they've, they've thrown in the towel. But yeah. do you think that was complacency, David? See, I, I've not had, obviously, that mentality of, of going into a game like that that you would have done. But it screamed to me, oh, they're really underestimating Everton. They just think, oh, we're beating all the big teams. We'll beat these, no problem. Yeah, but the thing the thing now, Lindsay, is like especially this time of season, you know that when you're playing a team that's in the bottom four, you're gonna get a tough game. It's it first of all, it will be physical. Straight away you know that, and you're thinking, oh, you know, because they're not gonna be taking their foot off the gas. And then you you've got to be ready for it. And and Brighton weren't. You know, they're oh, man, just they weren't. You know, when I when I say that, then I think of Pickford says. So they had the chances, but they just had a the statistics tell a very goalie. different story. And I, and and I know you can't read everything into that, but if you look at yeah. you know Brighton seventy eight percent possession to Everton's twenty two shots, twenty three to their ten. Uh, the shots on target were the same. I mean, the, the fact that, that Everton scored that many goals and they only had five shots on target as well. Yeah. They still battled, you know, like Everton still Massively. proper battled, you know, and that that is exactly what you're going to get. And then sometimes you, you need a little bit of luck, you know, like I said, with Jordan, they had a couple of saves, one onto the post, one onto the bar, you know, and a couple of others as well, a few scrambles. It was a it was an Everton team that were, you know, they're, they're, they're in bad form. That's why they're down there. But mm. they know what's at stake. You know, they did it, they did it last year, you know, where they, ju- they just managed to get out. You know, so they know they've they've been in this this situation before, and you know I wouldn't, you know, when we when we look at who who do we think is going to go down, you know, I'm obviously I'm worried about Southampton. I'm really worried about Leeds, and then who is it? Is it Leicester? Are like in poor form? We've said mm. this a lot, you know. Like we've tell been you saying who this it for isn't. Quite a while. It's not Wolves. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> Lindsay. And <laughs> you must be like so relieved. And you won a derby, Midlands derby, getting. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. the 6 0 drubbing from Brighton to beat Villa 1 0. Would I say it made up for it? Didn't make up for it, but it, it went a long way. Um, <laughs> Yulan Lopetegui as well at the end. The way that he celebrated, he celebrated like we'd won the league. But I mean, clearly to get us out of the mire that we were in when he took over. Yeah. Um, to get to that 40 point mark was clearly the ambition but yeah I think there's still a lot to do at Wolves there's a lot of players that have come in on big money deals talking about sort of money that we were talking about earlier Adam you know you're 20 25 30 million players that haven't really cut it so yeah. there's this big rumor now isn't there that Neves is going to go to Barcelona if that mm-hmm. happens then we definitely need players like Mateus Nunes and and take that strike that was in the April or goal of the month list away from it because that was a lovely finish. But apart from that, he hasn't done enough. So we need for, more from Nunes. 
Guedes, when you look on all the fan sites, he's been voted easily the worst signing of the season. <laughs> um, <laughs> there's quite a few that need to step up now. Is, is Nevers deaf or going? Because mm. that, that is a big blow for you if he is. Oh, I don't know. I mean, likely. I still cling on to the fact that I think he likes he likes working with Lopetegui and he loves working with Matinho in the same team. But Matinho's not playing as much now. He's obviously, hit, I think he's 35 or 36 now. Um, and he's probably getting advice from those around him to say, it actually is time to go. And I think a lot of the Wolves fans, we want him to stay, but we also appreciate that he's got a lot to give and yeah. it probably is time How for old him. is he? go he's really young he's younger than you think he looks like he's about 30 doesn't he but he's yeah. I think he's 25 no way yeah. no <laughs> he's, he's, he's got a Barcelona Wolverhampton Barcelona <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well they all come from Portugal to us David they don't mind giving up the sun <laughs> David Seaman and Lindsay Hooper. This is Seaman Says. Look, I think we've 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 uh, waxed lyrical on how good goalkeepers have been, but I think we should now go on to the United. Carl, match. Carl's been like avoiding this, like the play. But <laughs> <laughs> or should I say that? As, as we've been skipping, after we've been, as we've been skipping around all these different teams, I've been thinking I'm going to get away with this. I'm getting away oh, with no. this. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. Right, the wheels United. on the bus are coming off, off, off. But I will, in a little bit of defence for De Gea. Oh God! Look at this. <laughs> Right, all right, um, and and when you slip, <laughs> when your pushing foot goes, like all your strength goes. It's weird because you've gone, you've gone to like get a push. He went to get a push off his left leg, and the turf gave gave way. And when that happens, everything seems to like lose strength, you know. And but it weren't like the power of the shot that beat him. It was like cause it, <laughs> it was went a over his didn't it? I yeah. know, you know, and it, and it looked like so bad, you know, because it, it, yeah, it didn't have a lot of power on it. And then it, it just trickled over the line as well, you know. So it was, yeah, it was a, it was a bad mistake, but um, I can understand how that's happened, you know, because once, once that, because mm. the pitches now are there, they're a lot better, but obviously it's still happening. But back in my day, there used to be a lot of sand in the, in the goal mouths. And that used to be the worst. You know, like when you're on the beach and you try and run and all the sand just gives way. That's what yeah. used to happen on the pitches. And you get like you get no power on your dives. And it used to be it used to <laughs> You just get that sense you. at the moment though, David, that he could have been running on concrete and it still would have given way. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the issue. Well, concrete, yeah. studs would have slipped. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but the the <laughs> other thing with De Gea is is like isn't he's not signed a contract yet, has he? No, nope. you know. So what? What yeah. is going on there? I thought he's been offered one, hasn't he? Yeah, I've, he's I've been heard it's, it's on less money though, isn't it? Because he's he's on a real good deal apparently, and he's on nearly four hundred grand a week. <sighs> wow, which he's not worth that. Yeah, but well played. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really <laughs> life, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know. But if you know, if he if he wants to, you know, if they're asking him to take a cut. You know how big a cut is it? Is it is it a seventy five percent wage drop? <laughs> <laughs> you know, as I was, was, uh, as I was <laughs> not, that, well, not that I'm bitter. Yeah. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the word is that it is around. It's about half what he's got at the moment. Yeah, and there's no guarantee he'll be number one. Oh, All right. 200 Which grand a number week. two goalkeeper on 200 grand a week. <laughs> yeah, 200 grand a week has been your number two. But, but so like, so no guarantee. Yeah, but you can't guarantee that anybody's going to be <clears throat> number one anyway. You've got to play. Mm. You know, if your form drops, you get dropped. Um, you know, so that... Well, that you say that, Go but on. he's not been... like it's just, Ten Hag has got form for dropping people out of form yeah. ju- just this season alone. And I wouldn't say De Gea has been in the greatest of form. Um, it, but again, it's because we don't have another option. Yeah. He still, he still does. Back up. Yeah, what's what's happened to Dean Henderson? Is he? Is he he's at Forest, but he's injured, isn't he? Yeah, is he still at Forest? Is he still on their books? Yeah, yeah. Well, he's in their physio room. 
<laughs> yeah. <But what? laughs> don't get that. Like, why is he in their physio room and not the United physio room? Because he's a Man United player, isn't he? Mm, yeah, but did you see the interview he did before the season started? Go on. I think he rubbed people up the wrong way, and he um, he basically so the uh, the transfer was arranged before Ten Hag got in, and he said, "Oh, I'm, I'm glad um, I'm glad he didn't he didn't get to see me play because he'd want to keep me." Oh, uh, did the you? arrogant prick! <laughs> <laughs> He's not played all what, season. What exactly do you mean, Carl? <laughs> <laughs> Don't mince your words. I love it though. <laughs> If Forrest go down, surely Dean Henderson is going to be wanting a move himself. Yeah, well, I mean, he'll he's not go welcomed back. He'll by go back the Manchester Man. United fan base. Clearly, Callum's uh, not been very friendly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would imagine that he, he he's, he's going to go back to to United. But then, what? So, like with Navas, you know, it even even like when I, all I just thought of him that yesterday was him like coming out and punching everything, but like. Punching it miles as well. <laughs> it wasn't just like getting flaps on it or anything. You know, he was like proper smacking it, and it was like it was a brilliant display on how to defend corners, set pieces. You know, with with a goalkeeper that's not that big, but it was very, very effective on dealing with it. I know, like bang, <laughs> but it went miles every time he punched it. Because even one where he like he, he went he went at um, the Adams when he he, he like rebounded and. He was just about to put it in, and it, 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 it like he punched it off his boot, and that was it. Was like Superman, but <laughs> <laughs> get those little arms working. Yeah, but then does he stay at Forest if they go down? Mm. Adam, we've got to get your reaction to that result. So, are you? No, ready? you don't. Yes, did you're you not getting a... away with it. Yeah, well done, Lindsay. <laughs> did you have? <laughs> did you have a moment? And did it hurt more because they played like that? No, they've been so inconsistent all season. Um, I think it, it's very telling that that half the the points on the board were from the, the first part of the season under Ralph. Um, as as you know, I I pretty much thought we were down after the first few games that we had Nathan Jones as as, as boss, even though there was still so much to play for at that point. Our frailties at the back are just enormous. Um, and for all the shortcomings that Lianco has, I mean, I love it when he comes on. He is he shows so much grit and determination. Um and and actually I think I thought we looked better with him on than than Bella Kotchap. But um we just again, you, you look at the it doesn't tell the full story, but you look at the statistics, we had sixty four percent to their thirty six percent. The the pundits were were sort of on our side for the first 20 minutes into that first goal, we were doing well. We were holding the ball up. We were camped in their half and then they go and sucker punch us. Um, first goal I thought was a little bit lucky. Um, it, you know, managed to, to nutmeg um, Maitland-Niles. Second goal was exquisitely taken. Hats off to hats off to Forrest for that. I mean, that the way he caught that second goal was brilliant. Um, it's just an uphill ba- battle after that, which... I don't know. It's. I, I was glad to see a little bit of fight. Put it that way. I thought in recent matches we've we've shown far less spirit, and I thought we showed a little little bit more determination in that. But it's too little, too late. And um, and I I I would if it goes well, I would rather us go down, have a proper rebuild, and and look at coming back up again. And as opposed to limping through another Premier League season the way we have done over the past two or three. Um, so it, the writing was on the wall way before that Forest match. So, yeah. But I was gutted that we couldn't do it for Leeds, actually. I, I got a, oh, a text from you're my You're not the only one. After, <laughs> after the first two goals, it was like, looks like we'll see you at St Mary's next season. <laughs> I was like, yeah, sorry, Dad. Oh, no. I was like, oh, no. Oh, then like, you got to like fourth. I was like, come on, come on. But no. Mm. <clears throat> yeah. You know, and I, I look at Leeds's, like we say, I look at Leeds's games that they've got coming up, like, Newcastle home, West Ham away, Tottenham home. The only good thing about that is that they've got two at home. But, yeah, we're struggling. Yeah, Ellen Road Big is not time. even much of a fortress, really. So, No, 
Yeah, as much as the fans are brilliant there, the yeah, he's yeah. not on the pitch. It's not as as tough as it has been. Right, yeah, enough of all that doom and gloom. Save of the week. <laughs> <laughs> Save of the week with Safe Style. For great saves, you can't beat Safe Style. Right, guys, moving swiftly on. It's time for Save of the Week with Safe Style. And um, this week is. It's nice. It's going to be a nice Save of the Week because three England goalkeepers have had a really good weekend form wise. Um, obviously, Nick Pope ended up being on the losing team. But, um, you know, when, when I look at it, um, Aaron made some fantastic saves. Um, uh, this one from a header that was more of a, a reaction than strength save, you know. And, and like I've said to you before, if, if they let it in, it's like, well, where does it go in? And, you know, if, the one with Aaron, you know, if he lets that in, then he gets questioned. Um, but he had a few others. He had a really good touch that was really well um, deflected by the post when it could have just been a block and then back into play. He had a, a, quite a few saves with his feet. Um, you know, I've got down here, like Aaron, times four saves. I've got Nick Pope, at times three. You know, Nick had a lot of shots around him um, and then a lot with his feet. And he's brilliant at that with his feet. Um, but then I come to Jordan Pickford against Brighton and I'm like, wow. You know, it was just it was just getting better for, for England's goalkeepers because Jordan had a fantastic game. Um, making a brilliant save. I think it was from Ferguson onto the post, a real quick reaction save, and then another one onto the bar. Um, but also, Lindsay, you'll be quite happy with this. That was Asar. Made a brilliant yes. save as well. Yes. Was it from, was it Brendia? Yeah. Brendia, yeah. Yeah, I think, yeah. yeah, it was a really good save. And normally that, that would have got it on its own. But the fact that Jordan Pickford made two or three really good saves, and you can take the one... No, he tipped onto the post or the one that he tipped onto the bar and that's my saves of the week so the winner of the save, saves of the week is Mr. Jordan Pickford <laughs> that was save of the week with save style for great saves you can't beat save style we'll be back on Friday to preview next weekend's matches in the meantime don't forget you can also find us on YouTube over there, you'll be able to watch all of our interviews from the past couple of seasons with legends like Gary Lineker and Ian Wright, to current stars such as Aaron Ramsdale and Joe R. We'll see you soon. This is a Listening Dog Media Production.